Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, today we're going to go over another custom ROM. Uh, this one's built by Knit and Choby. It is for the Nexus 6. It's called Pixel Dust. Uh, it is a version of Pi. It's uh, an awesome ROM. As you guys can see, the theme on it uh, is one of the themes that they, um, that they have for this. That's really cool. Uh, you can basically make your phone look like whatever you want it to look like uh, with the whole theming uh, system built into it. Uh, again, guys, you can see this is Pixel Dust ROM. Uh, this is by Knit and Choby. Uh, I will put the link to his XDA thread in the video description, guys. Make sure that you uh, check out the thread, read everything on it. Uh, give him a like. Um, if you really enjoy his work uh, and you use it a lot, I highly suggest you donate. Uh, it does help the developers um, to do more. Uh, it pays for their server costs, uh, a lot of other things. Uh, but, but getting into this ROM again, uh, this is for the Nexus 6. Um, as you guys can see, I have my SIM pulled out of it. I don't want my phone number or anything like that shown. So we're going to go ahead and scroll on down. Uh, Android version 9, which is, of course, Pi. There we go. Uh, baseband version, all that's in there, and there, of course, is your build number. Um, now, I do want to get into some pretty important specifics before we get into this. If you're going to run this on your Nexus 6, there are no Pi ROMs out to date that you can flash on your Nexus 6 unless you are decrypted. Um, to find that out, all you have to do is go into security uh, and locations on your device or just find security in your settings uh, scroll down until you find anything that says uh, encryption or something like that and what you want to see is you want to see uh, something that looks like that where it's telling you to encrypt phone or it may say decrypted if it says decrypted there that means your device is not encrypted but if you see encrypted here that means your phone is encrypted and you cannot flash this ROM on your phone until you boot into Team Win Recovery Project, uh, go to Wipes. Uh, down in the bottom right, you will see Format Data. Click on that, type YES in the next window, and hit the check mark on the uh, lower right of the keyboard that you will have showing. Uh, that will format your data partition. You will be able to uh, flash and run this ROM. Um, I can't stress enough how important it is because a lot of the videos I put out uh, people didn't watch the entire video, and of course, I keep getting questions about um, I installed this ROM, it won't run, uh, or it's asking for a password, and I don't know what the password is. Please help. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and boot into Torp Reco Recovery, and I'm going to show you guys where this is all at and what you guys need to do to uh, decrypt your device. All right, we are back into... Team Win Recovery Project, uh, I'm going to show you guys what you need to do to, to decrypt your device. Uh, first thing you want to do is in the upper right, you'll see Wipe. You're going to go to Wipe. Uh, down in the lower right, you will see Format Data. Go in there. What you want to do is you want to type in uh, YES, and then you want to hit that check mark. I'm not going to hit the check mark because uh, that's going to wipe everything out that I have, and I'm not going to do that. But that's what you guys are going to do in order to format your device once you do. Uh, I highly recommend that you reboot your system back into recovery. Uh, that will enable you to be able to use your data partition uh, in order to flash this ROM. Now, I need to make this very, very clear. You need to use the latest Torp recovery. Um, you don't need to flash anything extra like uh, the Noverity uh, zip. Uh, you don't have to do any of that because the ROM and the kernel built into the ROM is non-encrypting. Uh, so. Again, guys, uh, that's all you have to do if you're encrypted is to format your data and then you want to flash to ROM. Remember, you need to make a backup. So before you do any of that, you're going to want to go into your device uh, and you're going to want to click on uh, Create Backup. Make sure that you choose everything that you want to backup uh, and uh, swipe to create that backup. Now, once that's done, uh, you're going to want to transfer that backup onto an SD card You know, using an OTG. A card reader or uh, put that onto your computer somewhere and back up all your pictures your your songs anything uh, that you need the, the zips that you downloaded for installing this ROM 
uh, you're going to lose all of that once you format your uh, device's data partition. All right, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go right into settings on this, and I'm sure that you guys want to see what all the custom settings are, so we're going to go right into the Pixel Dust settings. Uh, first up is status bar settings. Uh, this is where you can change everything that you see up here on your status bar. You have uh, your status bar items, uh, network traffic. Um, you can use old mobile type style if you want, uh, show clock and date. Um, you do have your font style. You can change that to whatever you want. Right now I'm running black italic. Uh, if I wanted to, I could go with like a medium or let's change that to, let's go condensed bold. Uh, but you see how that changes that. Uh, also, you can add AM and PM in if you want. I have it on normal. Uh, you can go ahead and add a date in if you want. I always run with a date. I like having the date up there. Uh, you can choose your date style, your date format, uh, date position. Of course, you can center up uh, your clock, put it right, left. It. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, your show clock and date size, uh, you can actually change that font size to bigger if you want. Notice how it's getting bigger. And this is really cool. This is a feature, guys, that I look for in a ROM. I love that. Um, you don't have to change your uh, your font size or your display size just to get that big enough where you where you can read it. So that in itself is just awesome. You do have battery style. They give you uh, icon portrait, circle, dotted circle, text, and hidden. Uh, I'm running the icon portrait. Uh, you guys, obviously, you can run whatever you like to run. Uh, you can go ahead and throw up your battery percentage if you want, or you can hide it. Uh, show percentage on the pull-down. I have it turned on uh, Bluetooth battery status as well. Um, you guys can have that on or off, uh, depending on what you want. Uh, next up is going to be quick settings. And uh, show sliders up first. Um, you do have show icon, uh, vibrate on touch. Uh, then you have your opacity. Uh, pull down status bar from uh, from right side. That's you know one swipe like that. Uh, if you guys want to have that uh, included, just turn that on. Uh, you do have your disable quick settings, and then your uh, Bluetooth battery status showing uh, in your drop down. Buttons are up next. Um, accidental touch. If you normally I run with that, but I'm not going to. Uh, that is to prevent uh, prevent. Uh, interaction with navigation uh, buttons while the screen is being displayed you can actually shut them off uh, that'll give you you know so you don't have to accidentally hit them I like it the way it is I'm gonna leave it on there toggle torch when screen is off uh, I, I do run with that on I like that I have it set for a long press uh, your volume settings are next those are your volume settings if you're into making changes on your uh, volume rocker I don't usually I usually run with the way it is but that's why we have custom ROMs <laughs> so uh, there you go uh, enable kill back button uh, this does have that feature and you can adjust it uh, for the time that you have to hold it down in order for it to kill uh, that app that you're running in the foreground next is nav bars you can enable the nav bar or not you can have it not showing uh, I like to have it showing uh, show arrow keys while typing uh, enable using one-handed mode pixel nav bar animation you guys can uh, run with it off if you want I, I like to leave it on uh, and then pulse they have pulse in this uh, you guys can set it up however you like if you want to put a custom color on there you know have at it uh, I'm actually running with automatic pulse color uh, so it's cool that they have that feature in there gestures is up next uh, status bar double tap to sleep lock screen double tap to sleep uh, three finger gesture I love that uh, gives you a screenshot just by swiping down three fingers. Then we come to Pi Control. Uh, I do have Pi turned on and I have it set for dark. Uh, you guys can shut that off simply by going here and clicking it off. If you guys want it, it's nice to have it. Edge Gestures is up next. If you want to run with the Edge Gestures, click that on. This is what I was talking about before where you lose your nav bars and everything goes by swipes um, you, you can set it up however you like right there are the settings I tried to use it I got a little confused but guys you have to remember um, I'm not the most savvy with the new stuff like this I, I imagine if I would practice a little more I would probably get a little better but again I love that they have these features in here the more custom features in my mind it's as long as they work and they don't affect anything else in the ROM the better we are next up is lock screen uh, you do have your lock screen shortcuts, so if you want to change that, you have your left and your right. Uh, I usually leave mine on the default setting. 
uh, your lock screen charging info. I like running with that. Uh, media cover art, uh, free auto unlock, or face, listen to me, face auto unlock. Um, from what I'm reading, that does work. Uh, you may have to play with it a little bit, but it does work. Clock font options, you guys can change the fonts of the clock uh, to look about the way you'd like. I'd like to see the fonts that they have like in Resurrect and Remix and um, some of the other ROMs, uh, Nitrogen, or is it uh, the other one? Anyways. These are okay, and I love the fact that we can change them around, but there's uh, there's a couple in there from the other ROMs I really like. Um, you know, some that have that gothic look and, you know, stuff like that. But I'm glad that these are in there. Uh, let's see. Set up uh, weather options. Go in here, and you can have show weather, you know, show your city name, temperature. Uh, and then, of course, your weather service. You're going to have to pick Yahoo or whatever. Uh, set up whether you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit. And, of course, throw a location in if you want to throw a location in and that's going to be it for that uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the power menu again i love these roms they have a lot of features built into the power menu uh, so if you guys are like me and love that this has got a load uh, of options recent apps uh, you guys can change to oreo thank you so much for that i hate pi recents i literally freaking hate them so i'm running an oreo uh, so that means if I open up my recent, you're going to see I have standard uh, Rolodex type uh, recents. But if you were to pick Pi, uh, it will go into the... Okay, well, wait a minute. Let me see here. Oh, it's got to do a system UI restart. Yep, go ahead. Go for it. Unlock. Uh, now if I go into my recents, and it's still showing it. Huh because it wasn't at first anyways I'm gonna go back to Oreo okay it's probably something I'm doing stupid I may have to go into my uh, recovery wipe cache and Delvic uh, and that'll probably take care of that uh, you do have the hide apps from recents uh, right here you can pick and choose whatever you want uh, to be hidden from the recents next up is gonna be notifications uh, heads up thank you for giving us this switch right here uh, I, I hate recents, I love, or I hate heads up, I like the fact that I can shut it off, uh, but if you guys want to run with it, there it is, there's all the settings for it, I'm going to shut it off. Uh, animations are up next, if you guys are into system animations, the, here you go, uh, there's a, pl there's a uh, plethora of animations for you guys to choose from, again, if you know me from, me, uh, from any of my other videos, you guys know I don't really mess with animations much. Next up is going to be, be miscellaneous. Uh, you have your checkout uh, now playing <laughs> uh, smart pixels. If you guys want to shut off some of your pixels on your uh, screen to kind of help save battery, go for it. No way am I going to compromise the look of my screen. I leave it the way it is and just plug my phone in the charger every once in a while. Uh, you do have wake lock blocker. Guys, if you're going to use that, make sure you know what you're doing first. Okay, Read up on it. Uh, then you have your sensor block per package. Uh, if you guys want to go in there and mess around with that, yeah, or just turn that off or on, it's up to you. That's it for the custom settings in the pixel dust settings. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the display. Uh, this is going to be where you're going to find the theme that we're running. Everything's basically the same in here. Uh, you can change your font size, display size, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, but right here where it says device theme, uh, I'm running the Shishu Knights. Uh, and again, you can change your accent color if you want. Um, you know, you can choose these. Uh, I'm going to leave it the way it is. That's it for that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into sound. I'd love to see a button where we can uh, unlink the ringtone and notification tones, but it is Pi. I'm not sure if they can do that. Uh, but pretty much everything else is standard in there. Again, um, under security you want to make sure that you are unencrypted before you flash this so this is where you're going to go for that and uh, you have your accessibility your digital well-being we're going to go back into system under gestures uh, jump to uh, a camera which is double press the uh, power button to jump to the camera lift the check phone and then again uh, prevent ringing uh, on vibrate that's pretty much it for there. If you click on advanced, you will see the developer options if you want to scroll through that. I've got all of my animations shut off. So if we go under drawing, uh, you're going to see, let me find it here. Yeah, you're going to see that all of my animations I have shut off. 
it just makes the phone really really fast so guys that's pixel dust by knit and choby i highly recommend this rom it's got tons of features um one of which i didn't even discuss uh quickly <laughs> now that i think about it go back into display under wallpapers uh pick pixel dust wallpapers and they have a ton of really awesome wallpapers how many times have you guys heard me gripe and complain that they don't add in custom wallpapers in roms anymore these guys do kudos to you guys for throwing that in there so again guys pixel dust rom it's an awesome rom uh it's by knit and choby uh again outstanding developer make sure you guys give him a thank a thank you on his xda page uh possibly even donate um if you liked the video give it a thumbs up remember to like share and subscribe uh also guys remember i have a uh drawing or a free giveaway video uh make sure you guys go watch that um you know sign up you know it's an lg uh urbane watch i'm giving away uh so make sure you uh leave a comment in the uh, in that video and uh that's all i have guys i want to thank you again and i will see you on the next one